Hey, Michael Johnson, one third of this Michael Fia. And today we're going to edit some cool images, or at least one cool image that we have fun with, with an artist named Ennis Johnson, uh, right now located in King, Texas. Uh, graciously drove out here and allowed us to have some fun in a photo shoot. Let's see here. First, what I usually do, I always try and get uh, some music. I'm going to play some Curtis Mayfield. Why not? And... All right, so he has an idea, and I love the idea, it's an awesome idea of creating this music from another world, and my best grasp on that concept is from when I played the video game Final Fantasy VII. I was really intrigued by the, the uh, graphics and all the, the uh, characters and everything. So that's kind of where I started my research. I looked up other worlds and everything for different backgrounds and ideas. But I saw this, I saw this uh, picture and uh, it really captured me and I thought we could definitely use it. First, I had to analyze uh, this picture to see if I could recreate it, see where some of the light was, even though, you know, this is a cartoon re rendering. Uh, it still has lighting effects. There's still, as you can see, uh, top right, there's uh, light coming in, causing a gradient on this background here. And then there's a light, I believe, that is uh, behind, on camera left, behind the, the object or the character that allows for the shadow that the camera is seeing. So, first we set up our gray background, our gray screen, and we had Ennis uh, jump in front of it. And this is what we captured. We captured this. As you can see, our uh, gray screen wasn't large enough. But we did very well in uh, figuring out the light. As you can see, we have our shadow here in the front. And uh, got, we exchanged our sword with a keyboard. And it has this light gradient coming across. So first, I do a little touch-ups, some uh, facial touch-ups and everything. Make sure everything's look real nice and make sure that we get all any blemishes or anything. And I like to use uh, this tool here, which is the like a clone tool. And I'll make sure I get all my blemishes uh, before I really uh, do anything. And it kind of allows me to think a little bit, to see what direction to go. Then I may play with and see uh, what the computer has. Uh, so I do maybe some auto some auto tone to see what it, it will pop up for me. It went really dark. So it was trying to expose for the background and I and I lost this gradient. So I had to figure out how to get that gradient back and still maintain this dark shadow. So I kind of boosted up the brightness again. Now we're getting back to what I, uh, more to what I want. Kind of darkened the shadows a little bit with some black clipping. Uh, that's here, over here in the, the blacks, raised it up to a seven. Then I want to increase the highlights so then it's like a pop, a nice cool contrast. So I'll increase these highlights here, add a little bit of clarity. And as you can see, I'm going through uh, my history, showing you what we did. Then my my point curves, it's, it's always should be like an S curve. This one, I did a, a slight S curve. You can see the darks are a little darker down here, and I kind of lightened it up up here, not to make it too too extreme, too unreal, but enough to uh, really grab grab your attention. That's with the shadows. Didn't want to lose uh, any detail too much, but then I wanted to make sure that it still maintained that that darkness. So I put more dark tones back in. Then I like to mess with some of the luminance, this orange luminance here, down here, and make sure he pops. As you can see uh, from there, I really allowed to get that, that look I was going for. Tweaked it a little bit more, make sure I got some of the clarity back in here. As you can see the difference between this and here, I was losing some of that uh, definition and clarity. So this is where I export. I export it from here, from uh, my Lightroom. This is Lightroom Adobe. Photoshop Lightroom 3, and I export it into Photoshop. So this is how we got started. We have both uh, images 
up, pulled up, and the reason so is I want to make sure I can match these uh, two colors the way the, this one is set up. And to do that, uh, Photoshop CS5 has this awesome uh, ability under adjustments called match color. And you go to the source and it allows you to pick the image and it will decide the colors for you. As you can see, it got really, really green, a little bit more green than I wanted to. So what I did was I, I boosted my lumens a little bit to make sure I kept that gradient. You see this gradient is uh, maintained over here. I think I kind of boost my color intensity and made it fade a little bit more. Get my color back. So, as you see, I got the gradient, it's a little green, and then I, I think I neutralized it to allow it to balance out. And then from there, I did a bunch of few changes make sure I got the correct color because you see mine is a little bit more green here than it is blue so I move my hue here just a little bit see if I can get that correct color on it saturation of tag to my points curve again to make sure I got this dark color in there I want and make sure I get that boost in the back not too much you can see I'm losing detail and it's becoming way too bright way too orange on this face come back down a little bit more here still not getting the correct look so as you can see I'm not getting the, the look that I want here on my back on gradient so what I'll do is I'll go here, go to quick selection, and I will select this background. Select this entire background here. If you select too much option, press the option key, and if you do more, you can some other that you select here. Go in here, make sure it's everything that I want. This is a real quick tutorial idea of uh, the editing. So then I'll pull up another uh, mask layer, and it will also be a hue saturation. And I'll really make sure that I get that. See, I'm really not getting that bluish color. Saturate a little bit more. Now I'm kind of getting that color down. And to make sure I have the artist the correct color that I will tweak his saturation. I don't want him too orange. So that's exactly what we're looking for. And then now we, we're getting make some moves where Getting closer to our final picture, we have a lot of different colors that we need to mess with. So what I will do is I will probably uh, save this as a PSD, uh, which is a Photoshop file or a TIFF, and import it back into Lightroom and mess with the colors. And what I will, and showing you all these little tips and tricks, I'm going to jump to our final uh, image and show you kind of what we ended up getting. So this is our final image. As you can see, we really made sure we kept this gradient look coming across and we made these blues really pop. It has that same feel, that same dark feel to it. And I believe, I, I, think, I know that we did an awesome job in creating this image. Uh, big shout out to Ennis Johnson. And it was fun, man. Uh, excited to do more stuff like this and uh, keep up with us.
stepping so proud. 